You've seen him for years as Hollywood's bad guy on TV and in movies. Now, listen to him right here. Here's your host, the multi-talented Jasper Cole. Howdy, howdy, and welcome to On the Set with Jasper Cole. This is your host, Jasper Cole, coming to you live from Hollywood, California, right here in the On the Set with Jasper Cole studio. And I want to start off by giving a big, big shout out to my way, 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 way fucking gay sidekick, Mr. <laughs> Ralph Cole Jr. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, Ralph. Hello, Jasper, and hello, Planet Eartha. Welcome to our show. Welcome here. You are a good Negro. That's how I'd like to think of you. Well, I'm a very good Negro, and that will just totally uh, segue into our very good friend, Stephen Grove, who's starring in The Good Negro right now. Yeah, we're going to give him a plug later. I didn't want anyone to think I'm a racist, but as long as no one thinks I'm one, please don't think our next guest Entertainment dish with Darren. <laughs> Certainly not a racist. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what, what the hell was that? Am I breastfeeding? I don't even know it. No, I just like to give you a little pussy, little pussy sound. <laughs> when you're the only kitty cat on tonight in yes. the first half of the show. We wanted That's to give you right. that. Well, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Dara. Yes, Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year, Ralph. We've already had three shows since then, but that's okay. Ah. So, <laughs> <laughs> speaking, speaking of our, <laughs> Speaking of menopause, please welcome <laughs> our own rants with Mr. Marcus Redmond. What are we doing again? What's happening? Uh, you're, the, you're our other good Negro. We've got two good Negroes <laughs> on tonight. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Jasper, well, we're, ay, ay, no, ay. The, good, the reason we're talking about Good Negro, our good friend Stephen Grove Malloy is starring in a wonderful new play called The Good Negro at the Hudson Theater on Santa Monica Boulevard, and it's a, a wonderful play that was done at the Public in New York, and it just opened out here, so we're giving a shout-out to The Good Negro at the Hudson, and uh, call 411-PLAY, or go online at 411-PLAY.com, and you can find all the information about that. And actually, they should be sponsors for me to give them that plug. Oh, dear. But speaking of, please follow us on Facebook at On The Set with Jasper Cole, Twitter, On The Set W Jasper, and our website, OnTheSetWithJasperCole.com. So, so, hey, everybody, here we go. You know, we're here after this um, big Golden Globes weekend last week. Yes, that was a lot of fun to watch. I thought, yeah, I thought it turned out to be one of the – more entertaining ones in the past few years, that's for sure. Although I, actually, you, I used to enjoy Ricky Gervais. I didn't think they could get any better, but I think uh, no, they Amy did. And I Tina think were great. I think they should always have Saturday Night Live people hosting all award shows, either past that's or what present. Somebody said. did you post that? Because I read that too. No, but but um, I'll take credit for that fabulous line. Thank you, Ralph. Okay, <laughs> good, I agree with you. I thought it was very nice. entertaining. I thought it was a nice change to have it uh, uh, with the two women doing it. And they're both appealing, you know, and there's always going to be somebody that doesn't like someone, as it always is in our business. But I thought they added the proper amount of levity because we're all so bombarded with these award shows, don't you guys think? It's a lot. Unless we're well, nominated. See, really... If we're nominated, we want, to, we want there to be 15 award shows. But if we're not nominated, we're a little bitter about it. But go ahead. Well, well, see, I'm, this is what I'm looking forward to hearing about it because, see, here's, here's the thing. Jasper, you and I have the opposite problem. Last week we were talking about how because you work in the business, you're sort of turned off in terms of, like, watching scripted um, mm-hmm. shows. For me, I love the scripted stuff. But I'm turned off by the award shows. Right. I can't bear to sit. It's kind of like I can go. I mean, I, I we went to the People's Choice Awards for Murder One, and it was a great time. Because everyone remember Marcus starred on Doogie Howser, MD, and Murder One. Go ahead. 
Yes, and that was back in 1873. No, it, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it's out. It, play, it plays all over the world somewhere, and no one has to know that it's not current. That's true. That's, yeah. that's true. <laughs> we are Jeff. huge. In, in Guam, we're huge. <laughs> I think that's we're big in Haiti. Like, it's huge. In we're Haiti, big too? in Haiti, but then so right. is um, so is malaria. But go ahead. Okay. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I just I can't I can't I can't I don't have the patience to actually sit through watching an award show. But I'm always interested to see who got nominated. I'm always interested to hear about who won. But I end up missing like the big moments because I can't sit through an entire show to get to the big like I can't, I keep That's hearing about Jodie Foster. You can fast forward to them. Right, that's why yeah. it's great. It, it is great to TiVo because you can fast forward, especially through the uh, commercials. Although I will say, the Golden Globes doesn't really have any any boring categories. It, it, they're not like the Oscars, and uh, no disrespect to people that are in the boring technical categories because it's not boring to them. But you know, the Golden Globes really only focuses on acting, directing, you know, the, sh- the shallow part of the business, right? Not the not the smart part. <laughs> Not the set design and the art design, you know what I mean. It's more the the left brain, not the right brain people. So right. what annoys me on these award know. shows, Marcus, too, are the awards, the acceptance speeches, and how some people become so self indulgent. I, of course, I'll probably eat crow the time I win an award and I'm up there and I wait. Listen, what gone. did you say? Self indulgent. Self Who's self indulgent Who? at the Globes, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Besides everybody. <laughs> Only everybody, right? Yeah. Okay, I think, well, Marcus, you the, one of the best lines of the night, it started off with um, uh, Amy Poehler. They were talking about... Oh, uh, <laughs> James Cameron. They were talking about torture. They were talking about zero thirty, oh, yes. And uh, okay. they were saying something about who better to do a movie about torture than someone that was, had to be married to James Cameron for three years. Oh. And Catherine Bigelow. And everybody laughed, and they were nervous to laugh. You could see that they were nervous to laugh. Are they going to be on film? Are people going to see them laughing? <laughs> well, what what they didn't follow up with is people forget that Catherine Bigelow had an affair with James Cameron and broke up his marriage at the time from the big studio executive. And then James Cameron cheated on her with Linda Hamilton, and then he cheated on Linda Hamilton with um, the it's girl. Actress, right? Uh, the girl that he's with now from Titanic, I can't think of right. her, Susie Amos. There it is. Yeah. So he's a there serial is. cheater, but then Catherine Bigelow cheated on with him also. So, And if she had to be with him for three years, that's the, that's the karma she gets. Okay. Oh, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I love Have her as a director, there, but, you know, the truth is. I don't think she's done anything ever since she had the affair with Cameron. Which one? Susie Amos. No, what she's just, she you know, but that? each time, each time they all just bleed his bank account. I mean, actually, Linda, Linda got the biggest because she got the Titanic money. So, <laughs> yeah, she Jasper's got half of the Titanic so money. Not that you're, not that you're keeping uh, score or anything. I love how Jasper breaks this all down. It's like, and he cheated on her with her, then he cheated on her with her. Yeah. And this, and this thing she, got Titanic money. Jeff, well, who was, are, who was it, Marcus? He was originally with Amy Pascal. He was with a big executive. Yeah, big, he was with Amy Pascal first. Yeah, yeah and you heard her. He she was, was, she was staying to last night. Didn't she produce one of the Oscar films this year? I can't well, even remember. Well, remember, Amy, well, Amy was, uh, I, I, she may still be, I don't know, but Amy was the head of um, Columbia. Yeah. Yeah, for for years and years and years and years and years, I had great pleasure of having Amy Pascal buy one of my scripts, my first script actually. Wow, she was, yeah, no, she she's, was awesome. she's she's one she's one of the biggies, but it's just I think that's who he was with when he it left her for Catherine Bigelow. Right, and but I don't even know what though, I don't even know what Catherine's background was prior to that. The thing is, Linda Hamilton got the best of everything because not only did she get the Titanic money, she's still getting Terminator money. I know, but <laughs> so, I wish she'd, she I wish she'd look in a mirror because she looks like a truck hitter. Oh, so you, you know, here to. we go. Uh, you but would you think know, I'm on the show any time. No, with all that hey, money. Hey, Lucian just called in. He's listening. Hi, Lucian. Hey, Lucian. How are you, buddy? Lucian. A shout out to all of our fans in Connecticut, including Lucian. 
Is he on the line? And Minted Royalty, nice to have you on. We missed you last week. Yeah, Ralph is uh, reading a tweet. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Dara. Oh, That's yeah, fine. So let's keep, let's, let's, keep, on, let's keep on going let's about Let's keep these. on talking about the, uh, what are we talking well, yeah. about, James Cameron Golden or Back Globe. to the Globe? Go, Golden the, Globe. The, so the other big thing was, you, well, the greatest thing before, I mean, b- getting up to Jody was Kristen Wiig and Will Farrell coming out. Giving oh, there for that supporting was so funny. And then the salmon, actors. and then the fishing, and oh, the salmon. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that and, hilarious. And it was Yemen. It was Yemen. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were so funny. Movie. I didn't like they'd the, seen the, everything. Uh, Marcus and Dara, I was, uh, when I talked to Jasper during the week, it's so funny how everybody has an opinion, and we're all entitled to it, but I posted that little segment on my Facebook page, and then I got a comment going, really? I thought it was the antithesis of funny. Oh, I thought it was brilliant. Well, did you, you like, like it, Jasper? Did you, I, I loved it, but did you see? Like that. But did you see at that one moment, Dara and Marcus, at three minutes and 30 seconds into it, they did a pan <laughs> on Tommy Lee Jones, and he was uh, not looking at He didn't it. think it was. Was he the one that commented on your Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think it was funny. Well, apparently, apparently Tommy Lee and Tommy Lee, I, you're welcome on the show, and I'd love to be in a movie with you. But you are apparently the biggest fucking asshole ever to oh. work with. Everybody hates working with that guy. He's got the worst really? reputation. Oh, a total prick. And so, and so, showing him his face the other night. Not, and it's funny because I don't know if it was his wife, but if you look, there's a woman next to him who's just chuckling, and she looks over at him to see. Like assuming he's going to be laughing with her, and he's not. And I looked and I thought, and that's been your marriage for the last twenty years, probably. <laughs> oh. She's laughing. She's looking to him for approval, and his face looks like a damn roto rooter just went up all up on. Oh, top. tell us again how you really feel. Yeah, but so, I got a, I got a, I got a new th- I got a new thing. I know we do the boomerang, uh, and everybody knows I love my country music. So I want to give a little bit of a country boomerang. That face of his worked incredibly well for Coal Miner's daughter. Oh, listen, his face. I mean, I'm not one to talk about a grizzled face. God. I'm just saying his face matches his fucking personality. He <laughs> has no sense of dude, humor. Huh? And I know someone that wow. just worked with him two, about two years ago. And one of and if you've ever heard Josh Brolin talk about working with him and wanted to take a gun and shoot him through the back of the head. <laughs> No way. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, he was goodness. the biggest asshole ever, and he impersonates him. Well, you know, he played a younger J- Tommy Lee in that movie he did last year, and I can't remember what it's called. But, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah Black and he said he did, he's done two movies with Tommy Lee Jones and has never had a conversation with him. Wow. Not one conversation. That, that's so, yeah. Josh Brolin and Tommy Lee Jones did a movie together and never spoke? They've done two movies, and, jo- and Tommy's never spoken to him once outside okay. of the scene they're in. Okay. Well, speaking of country music, the other big sourpuss of the night was that dumbass Taylor oh, dear. Swift, who, I'm oh, sorry. Dear. Okay. Well, now, okay. it's, that's not country music. First, let, let me let's just get, let me get this out of the way. Taylor Swift, who can't sing, first of all. No. She cannot. sounds like cats being raped. She, and it's not country music. Cats being Let's make raped. That clear. Yeah. I mean, she's so she I admire her songwriting and her her business sense or whatever, but she loses to a brilliant singer like Adele and they put the camera on her face and Taylor's giving her this look like she smells shit or something. She and did? I think Oh my god, yeah, go back and look at it. Oh, and it's so that's funny. Too bad. And Adele gets up there and just is so funny and so real. And so, you know, has eaten I dairy and cars. I love her accent, Jasper, because she's all like, hey, you know, my girl and I, we just went out to, like, get a pimp on the lawn, and I like, just happened to win an award. Isn't that crazy? You know, she is so real. I love she it. Said, I love about, Adele, she said, is I per- Adele is just, perfection. Yeah, I mean, she you can tell she just had a big old bowl of, like, rice pudding right before. Oh, I mean, here we go. Not, <laughs> she does not care about here cars. Here we go. I'm sure oh. she was gassy. She was probably gassy and everything, and I love that about her. <laughs> oh my God! You, you know was, she oh, was. She's, just, she is perfection. I mean that she is perfection. I love everything about Adele. I love that she's real. I love that she's raw talent. That she writes her songs. She sings them. There's no auto tune. She doesn't fall into the celebrity crap. She's just perfection. 
Well, and then did you see, You're speaking right, of Sarah. Ralph, you guys, speaking of the antithesis of Kristen and Will, Salma Hayek and Paul Rudd came out to present an award, and the teleprompter went dead. Yeah, they didn't and know what th- to say. This is an example of two actors who can't function without words. And I was surprised because <laughs> I thought Paul Rudd would be really – it was so devastatingly painful. They just stood there, and they looked at each other. They couldn't even improvise. I mean, but it maybe, was – Well, yeah. <laughs> That's it was, a good point. Did you see it, That's Ralph? They couldn't Jasper even improvise. Is, Jasper, okay, what did you have right. for lunch? Because you're just on fire. See, that's what Jasper is saying. The difference well, it's between because that it's called Jasper. On the Set with Jasper Cole, and somebody has to have some energy. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, say that again? <laughs> what did you say, Jasper? Oh, my I God. said because it's called On the Set with Jasper Cole, and somebody has to have some energy up in here. Happy Go ahead. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Okay, I Jasper. I mean, beg- beggars but, can't but be Jasper, choosy, I realize, but go ahead, huh? <laughs> Jasper is right, though, in the sense because when Kristen and Will were doing their thing, I mean, just the way Will was unraveling, unfolding the paper to talk, and the way Kristen, you could tell Jasper, it's probably like when you and Kristen were in the elevator during MacGruber, oh and it's like, ah, you know how when you look at somebody one. and you just start laughing, you can't even get the joke out? And that's kind of what Kristen was doing to Will. Some of it was so off the cuff. And it's like the same analogy you're making about Adele, Dara. It's like it's just real. Yes. And it's just funny, and it's what we all do. Because I love Will's last comment when they were actually showing the footage of the films, and he was like, I don't recognize <laughs> any of this. Any of this. <laughs> and what Tom, you know, that's Tommy funny. Lee was upset because Hope Springs, Meryl was nominated for that movie that he did with her. And when they go, Mariel Streep, I, who is she? I've never heard of her. Oh. And that's what, but when they said Judy Dench, oh, my Where God, they go, she, she came out of nowhere. I heard she used to be a police officer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm telling you, they should always have Saturday Night Live current or yeah, past they was, people. Um, yeah, they, a, you go back to Lucian. Is there another Dara? Because I was going to say, he just referred to you as Dara Style. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I saw that. I'm just getting calls right. everywhere. Guys, oh, who's calling of, you? Oh, listen, listen and then did you love the fact, here's another thing, guys. I, I As much as I love, you know, actor, some actors don't need, another one that can't do anything without a script, Daniel Day-Lewis, who's my favorite actor of all times. He favorite. cannot, he cannot talk, he cannot speak. Oh, yeah. He, I know, that I was a little disappointing. I can't stand these actors that are just, like, so inarticulate. Thing. You know, they're, it's like Johnny Depp plays that character in real oh, life. Oh, please, like right. You know, he tries to be so serious. And right. I don't know what Daniel Day was even saying. He was know? saying something about, oh, the camera should get a shot of the hallway because it's really quite interesting. And had, did you ever see the unbearable lightness of being in the eighties with him? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll yes. say no more. So he can it's act Nina like Olin. a jerk when he stands up at the globes and, and talk about the hallway. Cause I still remember that movie. Yeah, no, you know what? I think, I think, listen, I think he's, 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 he's a brilliant actor. Although I don't, I'm tired of English actors playing iconic <laughs> American roles. I, I mean, I don't know if we had to have another fucking English guy play Lincoln. So there's not, one American actor that couldn't play Lincoln. Well, so think of who. Jr. Who do you think could have done it and done well, a great Bill job? Well, Burst Jr. Oh well, I mean, I mean, that's not a horror film, Ralph. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bill. I Bill. I find these guys that are that good, so good. They're so like keyed into their craft that they're literally they're not good at anything else in life. Yeah, like that's true. It's like the Johnny Carson. Remember, he was really great at what he did, and then he goes home and he's an asshole. So yeah, it's that same that's sort true. of thing. Johnny yeah, Carson is an asshole. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Let's it's true a lot with people that are brilliant. Yes. Well, the last thing so I wanted to bring up was that. I thought it was brilliant that Bill Clinton also was on the uh, the Globes. Oh, my goodness. I love when Amy Poehler was all like, oh, my God, Hillary Clinton's husband was just here. Yeah, that I was know. funny. That was they great. They had so many great, so they many did. great comebacks. Go to Katie Shots, you guys. She just tuned in. Hey, Aww. Katie. Hey. You? Hi, take, Katie. Take your top off and watch the show. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't list Katie. Just ignore Jasper. Katie yeah. crochets topless, and she's Jasper's had too much, too much um, caffeine. Jasper's had too much sex. Let me explain something. I have two pussies on me right now oh as we're doing the show. Oh, my goodness. 
I have a black and white pussy on my right and a big gray and white pussy on my left. Oh, listen, okay. I know because when I went into when I went into the kitchen, the black one was almost about to jump onto the counter where the coffee is. Well, Ralph, I thought I was calling you the black pussy. I'm sorry. Oh dear, here we uh, go. <laughs> and, not a bad movie title. This That's a good one. We have, the black pussy. This is what happens when I'm Marcus in the is going to start that. writing that right now. I can feel it. Well, now, oh, listen, <laughs> speaking of oh, black pussy, did you hear oh. the big Britney Spears news? That, um, yes, that Britney she broke has up. Quit, well, first she quit the X Factor, then she split up with her They boyfriend, were going to let her go, the X Factor. She quit before they let her go. Well, You're you know fired. what? You can't fire me. I quit. You yes. cannot keep Britney down because now rumor has it that they want her to headline an ongoing show in Las Vegas, and she can make between $100 and $200 million a year. Do you really think oh, she'll pull uh, in that kind of money? Well, remember, oh, her yeah. her last tour that she did, that, that circus tour, made $67 million. Okay, yeah. well. And that was people was having to. Yeah, I you think, think she, so, Marcus, she that she would, can pull uh, in that kind would, of money? Oh, the thing with Britney Spears, you got to understand, Britney Spears is like one of the last of a dying breed. Like, Britney Spears is one of the last musical superstars, and she's been around forever. I mean, it's like, yeah, she's, what, like 30 or whatever, but you got to understand, like, there's a whole generation of people that are just coming into their money that grew up with her. And those people will go to Vegas, and those people will buy tickets to see her, and they'll tell their friends, good, bad, or indifferent. Well, don't, don't forget, she her. still she made she still made forty four million dollars last year, and she doesn't write her own music. I mean, this girl, yeah, she made she right, made yeah. like thirty million when she was in rehab and hadn't worked in a year, you know. So, yeah, well, yeah. Britney Spears is like they're not running out of time. They need to do their best work incarcerated or out of the loop. Wait, hold on, guys. We have a caller. Let's see who we have calling in. Hey, you're on the set with Jasper Cole. Who is this? Is this Brandy? Hello? Brandy? Who's Brandy? Oh. Is it Brittany? Brandy the singer? Well, I don't know. Britney I was Spears? thinking I was thinking we we're going to have a caller named Brandy calling in, but I is hey, this let me Brandy? See, turn your screen around to me, Jasper. Let me see the number. Huh. Oh, wait, okay. I don't recognize Oh, wait. Well, they got shy. They got pee shy and hung up. Wait, did, does it does this icon mean that they hung up? Um, it yeah, they hung up. Sorry about that, guys. We had a fan and they went away. Okay, so back to the globes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought we had moved what? to Britney. What do we think? Are we talking about your breasts again, Daryl? I'm sorry. Are we talking about your breasts again? Because you said no, but let's talk globes. about breasts and the globes and those dresses, those strapless dresses. What does those everybody think about dresses? those? It looks like the boots are all going to fall out. I know it was. I Isn't like the point. That's the point. Of, I don't know. I mean, stuff, I mean, it? like Jennifer Gardner, they showed that like she almost had a nip slip. I mean, I don't really understand. Like, if you're going to wear those dresses, shouldn't that you be a little taped and tucked in better? Well, does well, she have breasts? Can I? She does. Can I say something with all yes. due respect? But yes. after you've had three children and you're over thirty, I don't want to see them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Wow. I you think know Jennifer what? Looks... I, I think I think somebody put arsenic in your coffee. No, you are I'm just, just saying, mean and nasty. And, no, listen, listen, guys. Yes. Deco Diva just wrote in, and Deco Diva, yes, you can download our podcast. You can go to blogtalkradio.com um, slash on the set W Jasper Cole and listen to us anytime you'd like. And all you know, don't forget, guys. Coming up at six thirty, we have our special guest, uh, actress comedian Carly Burke, is calling in. But hold on, guys. I think yes. we have our caller back, and I know good and well this is. Is this Brandy Cooper? Yes, it is. Woo! Let's give a shout out. <laughs> okay, now Brandy, welcome everyone. This is, uh, first of all, say hi to my gay co-host Ralph. Uh, hi, Ralph. Hi, and Brandy. Welcome to our show, girl. To our diva, Dara, even though she doesn't like other women to be on the show with her. Say hi to Dara. <laughs> That's not true. Hello. Okay. Hi, and, that is not true. And You're Marcus hilarious. Redman. Marcus is How a hot you, Brandy, black man, man with dreadlocks. Oh, <laughs> hi, Marcus. So hi, now, Brandy. everybody, Brandy, I call... Change call there a little bit, Brandy. I call Dara the real housewife of Orange County. I call Brandy... Just the real bitch 
personality, gorgeous girl in general. I, it's, we've been friends for years, and she needs to be on a reality show, Dara. She could really take Brandy take and them the all girl. down. Yeah, and so I I had dinner with Brandy uh, Cooper. That's her. I'm sorry, it's I used like her a last porno name. name. Well, it she, could be. It's a, it's a Brandy. It's a good. I say that name, with a it? compliment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I say that as a compliment. And Jasper's wrong. I don't mind other women on the show. I tell him there's too many people talking sometimes if we're interviewing somebody. So okay. then I get, yes, bye-bye. <laughs> Shut up, Jasper. <laughs> okay, Brandy. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show. And I just wanted, I want everyone to know that Brandy is a Dallas girl. She's drop-dead gorgeous. She looks like... Does well, why don't you remember? put a picture up on the set on the Facebook, Jasper? I don't have any pictures of her. She keeps everything under lock and key. Oh, right, well, I will send you a picture from my iPhone to your iPhone. How's that? Are you sober right now? Oh, great, Brandy. Am I? Um, I'm get, Yeah, but you better talk fast because I am hitting that bottle right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Are you she on is, any medication? She's like a porno caller. She's got tonight. like a porno voice, too. She's hot. You know what? Maybe that's hot. She is hot. I can hear. I, you know, I'm totally open. I'm looking for a new job, so if I could maybe do phone sex, I'm totally open to that. <laughs> now listen, Brandy doesn't mind me saying we've hit it a few times, Brandy. And oh, I. you're so <laughs> full of shit. I was not. Let's just put it this way: I was not in the right frame of mind, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one, no one well, I was. Is. Yeah. I was. You're hilarious, Jasper. For that, like, for five minutes, Jasper? Come on, seriously? Well, you passed out, bitch. You were out cold. I, oh, I here ro- we go. I roofied you, don't you? <laughs> roofied? No, you were just wanting me to have that third bottle of red wine. Oh, wait. This is wait. The, that's the best line ever. I roofied you, don't you remember? <laughs> best line ever. Yeah, Jasper. That I was you remember you told me you loved me, baby. Oh, my God. I'm scared. <laughs> Dara's going to have a heart attack tonight. Happy but New Brandy, Year. <laughs> anyway, Brandy, tell everyone, give us a little background on what you're looking for in terms of jobs. Oh, Lord. Well, um, <laughs> God, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I've pretty much, on a serious side, I've worked in production. I have been a sales rep for a couple of different companies. So I'm I'm open to different opportunities out there. But, uh, you know, I'm open to something completely new, too. Oh, have Off you tried beach. black men? <laughs> well, no, I'm from Texas, so you know how that is, Jeff. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Is that a no? Yeah, you know how that is. That just doesn't... From Let me Texas, tell y'all something. Brandy, oh, just don't talk to ISIS about that. Brandy, know, Brandy is I that know. girl... Brandy's that girl that can... She walks in the room and all the men fall down over her. And she's, she she could write a book on just her dating life. The The amazing... <laughs> Story. The tales of Brandy. It's kind of like Sex in the City. Oh, I don't know. It couldn't, be, it couldn't be that interesting if there's no chocolate involved. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I'm not saying. Yeah. There has been. There has been. Yeah. There's there been, been all. You know, she is a a Benetton ad. She is not discriminating. <laughs> Good one, Jasper. Are right, they a sponsor. Right, Brandy. Yes. That's that's true. That's true. You know, I mean, whatever. Whatever's giving me the right attention at that moment, and I need it, I'll definitely. And I need it, in. Brandy. They're wanting to know if you're on Twitter. No, I'm not. Well, are you? Well, she's on Facebook. I can't I find am. her on Facebook. How do you spell Brandy? E R A N D Y. Oh, that's Public it. Public school, Dara. Did you attend? Well, some people spell it with an I, Jasper. Those are the strippers, honey. So sit honey. the hell yeah, down. Those, 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 or, or, with a, or their dogs. They spell Here it with she is. I. Oh, she is a sexy girl. Well, let me tell you all. Okay, so Brandy, okay, go Ralph, ahead, Jasper. Ralph, Brandy and I met through Suze Lanier at the same time Denise Denise Boutte met. Brandy, uh, Suze Lanier did her headshots back in Dallas at the same oh. time we we met Denise. So we go way back to eight or nine years ago. So we're like, ago. really? Oh, no wonder. Brandy, I can Smith. download your photo right here, and I'm going to post it on the uh, on the page. Okay, do okay. that, please. Yes. Is she approved? It's your, it's your profile picture. Oh. Sure, that's fine. She's yes. like, she, that doesn't Absolutely. sound like it's really fine. She, Brandy no, looks no, like no, a much really prettier. Fine. It's she pretty. Looks like a, really fine. She's like a much prettier Janice Dickinson, a sober, more oh sober. Oh, my God. I'm going to slap you the next time I see you. Janice Dickinson? Ugh. Have you seen her in person? No, but she's pretty. 
She looks like she's like she's had a pretty a hard rough. Like, exactly. It looks like she's had a bit of a rough life. She's kind of training. Right, I'm atta- everybody. I'm attaching a photo of Brandy right now to my entertainment dish with their uh, Facebook page. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Brandy. Keep talking. What's Br- Brandy? What's your last name? Cooper. Cooper. Brad. Brandy Cooper. Okay. Thanks. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so now, what is, what's, like, what's your what is what is your profession, Brandy? Like, what is it that you're 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 known for? Oh Lord! Oh goodness! Um, there she is. Well, you know a lot of things, but I I would pretty much. Oh, say what I are you doing like now, it. Brandy, for work? You look oh, great, Brandy. <laughs> Wait, let me Thank talk to you. Brandy. Where's Brandy? I'm here, just being a sales rep. You know, I, I go like business to down. business, talking <laughs> <laughs> business to business. Just, I'm a great people person. You know, I uh, I like to develop relationships relationships, that kind of stuff. Okay. What would you call your profession? Like, what would you say your profession is? <laughs> yes. pay, no, pay no attention to Jack for pay no attention legally, to Jack. Legally, because, I mean, I guess we all are kind of escorts if you think about it. I mean, you keep Sell, a sign, you get a product, you get a product, product shoes. I mean, that does kind of make you a hooker, right, in a, in a weird way, but yet okay. We're all so, hooking yeah. something. Hey, okay. you know exactly. what? I'm all, I'm all for the... Um, for the high class escort service, why the hell not? Well, as long but as no, I can pick them. Brandy, but Dara, good. seriously, Brandy would be so great on a on a reality show because she's, yeah, she's well, get on really, it, Jasper. She's like twenty nine years old and she's approaching that thirty, but she looks younger. She's single. She does she look does, younger. She does all the. <laughs> she's a party hot, girl Brandy, when she wants to be message. and. She's out on the scene in L.A., and now that the probation officer, all that's over with, she's free to she's free to, to be, again. right, Brandy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. Drink again. Brandy, I just sent you a message on Facebook. Okay, perfect. I'll have to check Oh, it. please, Brandy. Ralph will want you to follow him and be a Twitter follower and be his Facebook friend. <laughs> Keep his numbers low and all that stuff, so please do, by all means. Really? Ask for listen, do you want some of this coffee? It's this Colombian one you like. Oh, make me some of that, please. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I forgot to tell you all, I usually tell you what Ralph's wearing tonight, but tonight I don't even know what to call it, so I'm just going to let it. Wait, is it colorful? It's, it's probably very orange. colorful. Yes, I'm wearing my signature orange, and you've seen these pants before. These are my Cambodian fisherman pants. Oh, I okay, got you. Okay, now the biggest question is what kind of shoes are you wearing with this? I'm just wearing flip-flops today. But okay, they're kind of like – they're very Asian-like. What are they, I, Ralph? Yeah, that's so funny you said that because I Vaseline my feet because I'm black and I didn't want to be ashy. Oh, okay. Oh, well, everyone get oh, that visual. Oh, so, you. That's awesome. That's I thought really you were kind of shiny over there, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> you were kind of glistening. Glowing. Thank you. Well, Brandy, listen, you're the greatest to call in. We have to, uh, we, we have to keep moving because our, our special guest, Carlise, is on the line. Okay. And it's so great Sounds for you to good. call in, and everyone follow Brandy on Facebook, and we're gonna, she's going to uh, hopefully come on the show again, and maybe when we're live in the studio, uh, she's going to come visit us. Oh, yay! Perfect. Right. Sounds good. Well, it was a pleasure speaking nice with to all meet of you. you Brandy. Talk to you soon. Nice to meet you, Brandy. Thanks, sweetheart. Have a great weekend. Take care. Brandy. Okay. Bye-bye. George, our, our, one of our listeners said, Brandy, bye. Oh, that's, she's great, everyone. Brandy, yeah, we had dinner this week, and I said, I dare you to call into the radio show. So, <laughs> and she, well, said, she likes she to dare. Gorgeous. Well, listen, guys. I'm our special guest, Carlise, is on the line. So let's it, let's bring her on and welcome Dara, her. Stay on. Okay. Could this be Carlise Burke? Hello. <laughs> are we having technical difficulties again? I don't know, Carlise. Are we there? Oh, okay. I no, I guess He's not. Everyone's, right. everyone's hanging up tonight. They're shy. Mm-hmm. That's all like that because he's on Facebook right now. I just typed her. Turn, let me see the screen again. Turn it over. Turn your monitor to me for a second. Uh-huh. There we go. <laughs> well, okay. anyway, guys. Let's, yeah, that's let's... her number. Oh, okay. No I got call back. Right. Oh, all right. Everyone, do we want to please... talk any entertainment stuff or are we waiting for Carlise? No, um, Carlise is typing me something. Talk, Dara. Yeah. Okay. Well, so since we're on the housewife theme, because you think Brandy would be a good reality uh, TV star, let's talk a little about. Anybody see the Leanne Rhimes interviews this week about 
her still talking about breaking up the marriage of uh, Brandy and Eddie from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Well, I did, and I saw I saw the episode where Brandy's Glanville sat down with uh, Eddie's other girlfriend that's on Vanderpump. Pimp, whatever Vanderpump rules. <laughs> Vanderpump rules, right? Yeah, I yeah. guess Leanne's now saying she's concerned Eddie's going to cheat. I wanted to say, well, bitch, you cheated on your husband too. So right. what's exactly. the point? Yeah, I know, I know. But it's interesting. It's like I don't know why she keeps talking. She should just be quiet, kind of like the whole Lance Armstrong thing. Just I know. Be We're going to get to that in a second. But listen, I think our special guest, uh, Carly's, could this possibly be Carly's Burke? Carly's. <laughs> she just typed me and said she's trying to call in. She says she can't hear me on the phone. What does that mean? Huh, Carlise? So well, she just she's... typed me. Are you? Try... I just said, are you trying to call in? She said yes. Oh well, she's right here, but for some reason, um, hmm. Sorry about that, Carlise. We ha- we have you on a... the board, but you're not coming through. And and no, tonight the board's doing great. So I, it might be her cell phone line. Oh. Maybe she can call on a landline. Sometimes the landline is always the best. Everybody, anybody that calls in, the landline is always the best way. Well, Carlise was on set and switched at birth, so she might she might not oh. have been able to get back home. Yeah, yet. that's the thing. Um, Carlise plays Principal Rose on Switched at Birth, ABC Family's hit hit show. She reoccurs on there, and um, you've also seen her on Shameless. First of all, you've seen her. Carlise has over a hundred IMDb, IMDb credits. Um, Carlise so Burke is so fierce in Planet Earth, and when we were at our original station, Carlise joined us there. Uh, she is no stranger to our show, and um, I was able to introduce her to Jasper, and they hit it off famously. Carlise and I go back 30, over 30 years. It's the 663 number that's coming up, right, Jasper? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I guess no, Carlise is fierce, that. and she, uh, she okay, yeah. Let's see. There, now we have a number coming up, 111. Let's try this one. <laughs> Sounds like Europe. Could this be Carlise? Oh, my Lord. What oh. in the world yeah. is going on over there? Oh. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, welcome. You know, the third time is the charm. I'm sorry about that. Well, I love this technology. I'm listening on the internet, and you guys just instructed me what to do. Thank you, Dara. I'm on my <laughs> my um, landline now, so oh, I don't well, Brandy see? gone. There you I go. I will not be upstaged by that pretty bitch. Is she gone? Who? Which one, Brandy or Dara? <laughs> Brandy Cooper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you, Jasper. Thank you. Please welcome. <laughs> Carly, oh, say hi hilarious. to everybody, Ralph, Marcus, and Dara, because I don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh, oh here, here we go. go. What's up, hey, guys. Marcus, Ralph, oh, Dara, Jasper? Well, Carly, I love hi. Carly. It's the only time we get to talk now is when we're on the air. <laughs> I know. This is crazy, but you well, know Ralph, I are, you wait, Why did the number come up as 111? Because you were calling from a landline? I'm on well, my landline, and it's private, and I will not divulge that number to anyone. Oh, anymore. I see. But I'm glad you got home safely, though. Yeah, yeah how was your shoot yeah, today, Carly? I'm sorry? How was your shoot today? Oh, my God, it was wonderful. This is going to be a groundbreaking episode of Switched at Birth. There, the sound, there's going to be no sound. I can't wow. give away too much information about what's going to happen in the episode. It's a what's two-parter, gonna happen? and um, <laughs> it's, there's going to be no sound. It's all signing, and, it, and, and hearing people will get an idea of what it's like to be deaf. Oh it's my like God! Wow. In the That's world without really nice. sound. I'm so glad you're a part of that groundbreaking episode, Carlise. Me too. I'm very excited about it. I thought they had shot it already, and then I found out. You know, I knew I was coming back for another episode, but I didn't know it was this one. Oh, and great! Now tell everybody when Switch at Birth airs. What what uh, night and everything? I believe it's Monday night at eight. I know it's ABC Family, right? And I'm pretty sure it's Monday. I've been trying to keep up this season because I want to go to work. You know, knowledgeable, like I actually right. know what's going on. You know, that would well, be novel. <laughs> how long have you been signing? How, when did you first start learning how to sign language? Oh gosh, I think 
I took my first class back in 1999. I just wanted to learn. You know, I was doing stand-up comedy, and I had interpreters on stage with me at all the pride festivals and music festivals. And, and you know, my mother at the time was just like, well, you know, you got to have a plan B. And I'm just <laughs> like, well, what would that be? What would plan B be? And I thought, well, that looks like fun. You know, I'm still on stage and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I thought I would take a class, and then I really got into it, and I ended up getting a degree in sign language interpreting. Wow. Um, I discovered that I'm not a great interpreter. I mean, I could have been a great interpreter in time, but I just didn't have the patience, and I felt Yeah, that but what I, you've learned has really garnished you a nice income and a nice notoriety. Yeah. Uh, Planet Earth, Carlise Burke has worked with uh, Marley Matlin on her yeah. various projects. Uh, tell well, us a she's on this show. Okay. We work together today. She's on Twitch at Birth, yes. Yeah, yeah. She's another guest star. And so we had a, a very uh, poignant little scene today together. Oh, well, God, that is It's so a great, great cast. Character. You've got Leah Thompson and is it Const- yes. Constant Marie? Yes, yes. And we're all becoming friends and we tweet that we have fans and it's it's awesome it's i'm finally feeling you know ralph and i we talk all the time about the industry and where we are in it and where we want to go and i feel like i'm a part of this family and i and more and more i feel like i'm a part of this family and it's such a unique family because there's nothing like this there's you know right. the whole signing thing and the whole deaf culture well you're, you're part not of a the part of it family just like, what? so what's going on Tell us a little bit about what the show's about for those who haven't seen it or aren't familiar with the show. It's on ABC Family, right? Yeah. What's like? What's the premise of the show? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first part of your question um, or the, your comment. It it is a um, it's about two girls that are from the same town and they were switched at birth. Hence the title, switched at birth. One of them okay. is deaf. So they grew up being raised by each other's biological parents. But, of course, since it's a small town, everybody's all interacting and they're all trying to figure out how to live life, mm-hmm. you know, together. And now that everybody knows and it's out, out in the open that your parents are really my parents and my parents are really your parents, they're all parenting. Like these right. girls now have, like, four parents. Um, there's a deaf high school involved, and I'm the principal of the deaf high school. Wow, oh, it's cool. really groundbreaking in many ways. Yeah, yeah, for That's television. That's a very cool show. Yeah, and if is. I'm not mistaken, I'm not. Uh, you can tell me better than I'm remembering, but I believe, Ralph, I believe that we've got a K11 connection with that show. Oh, in what way? With because I believe that it was. I believe it switched to birth. I know it's an ABC Family show. I'm not sure about the show. I believe it switched to birth. But I believe that before his uh, screen debut, uh, Mr. Cameron Stewart worked on the crew of Switch. Oh. Oh, that's, that's right. Name? Mm-hmm. What's the person's Cameron name? Cameron Stewart. Cameron, oh. Cameron Stewart. And who? what department is he in? He would be in, uh, well, he'd be in the grip department. Tall, oh, skinny guy okay. with a beard, really, really skinny. He is uh, Jewel Stewart's son. Or Kristen uh, Stewart's who, brother. Or Kristen Stewart's Stewart. brother. And yeah. he made his uh, feature film debut alongside Ralph and myself in K-11. K-11. As an actor. Well, I'll look for him next week. I'll see if he's still there, and I will definitely say hi for you guys. But, Carly, oh. let's keep it real. We're not like, I don't know, Ralph always puts me to shame, because Ralph can go on a set, and he knows every person's name. <laughs> All uh-huh. the way down the line, he knows their whole family oh, history yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah, and Ralph everything. would have known instantly who he was. He would have said, oh, yeah, we had lunch together today, and he had artichokes and feta cheese, and he was and he had herpes and, and, and everything. And yeah. it's so and funny because the other day, Jasper worked. Drives a Ferrari and, oh, Well, yeah. Jasper Ralph worked on this amazing. movie la- a couple of, well, it's been a, like a month ago or so. He worked on this movie called Hansel and Gretel. So Jasper and I were talking all during the movie. This is the movie he appears in. He stars in opposite Dee Wallace. Well, so stars all is during very the shooting loosely, of the movie. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, oh, Thanks. Jasper. Thanks for that, Ralph, but go ahead. I, yeah. Okay. So we, were, we were laughing, like, when he would come back home after a day shooting and stuff and just talking about things. Never did this guy's name come up until I was watching Hansel and Gretel and seeing in the credits afterward – Robert J.D. Spaulding, who is a production guy on my film, How Sweet It Is. And Robert and I got along great, 
And then when I wrote Robert and I said, oh, God, I just saw your name in the credits, and my friend is Jasper Cole, he wrote back saying, I love Jasper. So it was, And then when I called Jasper and I said, remember the guy Robert Spaulding I told you that I worked with on How Sweet It Is? You just worked with him. He was your fucking second A A C. Jasper was like, who? I was yeah, like, no, who? Jasper actually knew who he was. <laughs> oh, okay, I said, okay, he was your I'm second sorry. cameraman on Hansel and Gretel. So it's such it's so fun how stuff like that works out. It's a wow. small world, isn't it, Carly? But listen, Carly, I don't got know so how much... Ralph does it. I'm so busy focusing on what I have to do. I cannot get into conversations with people. But you're getting I better can't... at it, Carly. You've changed because. Yeah. You're different now. You know people's name, and you're engaging and stuff. And, but not you know. everybody, Ralph. You know everybody. You know the medic. You uh-huh. know people's children's names. Yep. You this know. It's amazing. Okay. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, God, you guys are so nice. Me. But, you know, it's what that, that's but, my claim to fame, you know. so. But, Ralph, since Carlise is a guest, I kind of wanted to put it back on her, if it's all right. Okay, well, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> But, Carlise, everyone knows how busy you are between the acting jobs and your stand-up, and you have uh, Laugh a Latte, which is your amazing uh, stand-up, ongoing stand-up that you host and, and that you uh, provide, but you're also here to promote something else that's on YouTube, right? Yes, we taped a live show of Laugh a Latte. I've been doing a live show. Uh, Ralph has been down to see the show at uh, Hot Java in Long Beach. I did it consistently once a month for five years. Wow. And last year we filmed one. We had a live taping, and now it's available online Yay. for people to rent or buy. And it is amazing. And the irony of talking about this today is that it's a, diff- it's a different stand-up show because we have a sign language interpreter. Oh, but- from O'Malley. Yes, Tom Hotfingers O'Malley. Now, he's not just any sign language interpreter. He breaks all the codes of ethics for (laughs) for sign language interpreting, but he's a comic, so he gets away with it. And hearing people and deaf people, well, they came to see me, but they also came to see Tom Hotfingers O'Malley, who is hysterical. So I encourage you to go to my website www.carleseburke.com, C-A-R-L-E-A-S-E-B-U-R-K-E, and you'll go to the promo. If it doesn't pop up, go to the Laugh a Latte tab, watch the promo, and then rent it or buy it. You can have it for yourself. In your computer, you will be laughing a latte, and there is some juicy tidbits of my personal life included <laughs> in this show. Oh, my God. It is hilarious, Carlise. And I love the top you're wearing. Yes, that's your favorite top. That's right. You love that, that top. top is so great on you. You really know how to work your body and your big boobies. That's and you know, I Ralph, remember. what I love about <laughs> you, Ralph, is, o- is only a gay man can use the word top about a It's a only Google <laughs> on our show is minted royalty said. Katie Schatz was crocheting topless. Carlise has huge. Plays. Wait, wait, she is. Yeah, we have yeah. Carlise. We have a listener, Katie. She crochets, and I asked her to make an orange and black afghan for Ralph and I. But now I've asked her to do it topless. We, and tell oh her we we God. would like some pictures posted of that also. Oh, that's really gonna I, I happen. Think, I think we should do a live streaming of her hitting. <laughs> well, what a fabulous segue, Carlise, about live streaming. Jasper, do you want to take it away? Well, that's right. I forgot to mention that starting February 3rd, Sunday, 4 to 6, the first Sunday of every month, we are now going to be live back in studio at the brand new United Broadcast Networking Studios at Sunset Universal Tower. Universal Broadcasting Network, Jasper. What did I call it? United. Whatever. <laughs> UBN. <laughs> Wow! But United so Vagina Broadcasting. Yeah, Go so ahead. Carly, you're going to have to come back and li- be guys, live in the studio. Yeah. Yeah, Carly, Marcus, you got to hear this. Now, just right then when I had to correct Jasper, I was not being food. I was not trying to be Miss Marples. I am simply trying to pass on accurate information. Uh Uh-huh. Carly mistakenly posted to the world. Oh, there we go. On our show, January. Oh, Lord. I simply mentioned to her in passing on Facebook, uh, Sir, you're <laughs> totally wrong. We'll be there, January. <laughs> Listen, Sarah, Jasper only had a right back and be like, 
Okay, Ralph, Miss Marple had to be right and correct somebody. Now we're trying to tell Planet Eartha because it's going to be a live, a fabulous live stream, and he's all calling it the wrong name. I'm just trying to set people straight, okay? Planet so Eartha, long. you can always get the correct information on all of the different Facebook and, and tweet uh, places. Right, and I'm not sure who the co-host is going to be on Sunday. Ah! So. <laughs> But Carlise, what I love about that Ralph, work out for Anderson's show. What I love about Ralph is he says he quietly tried to write it. That would be called send the private message, Ralph. You just post, you just blast Carlise up on her Facebook wall. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It was okay though. It was okay because the information has to be correct. That's so true. I'm thank okay. you. I and see, Carlise, you are so sweet, black to... woman. That's okay. Thank, thank you, Carly. I'm not afraid. I'm tough. And I can handle it as long okay. as it is right. Working out, Carly. No, see, Carly. I just had to mute Ralph. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> mean. <laughs> Put him back. See how sometimes he he has Put to be him muted, back. Carly. Wow, so. that's don't power. mute him. Okay, but he doesn't know it. Watch, here he comes. Is he still? No, on? Jasper. Seriously, Ralph. I'm <laughs> sorry. You were muted. No, you didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, stop it. Listen, you guys, if I just walked over to his side of the table and fucking pressed the button, I could mute his black ass. You keep okay. you keep on the gay wow. side. You stay on the gay Wait, side of the room right over there. What kind of coffee did you both drink today? I want some. <laughs> I got this new Colombian coffee. Wait, wow. Carlise, I'm sorry. I've lost all control of this show. So anyway. That's okay. Everybody, please check out Carlise's website. And, yes. Carlise, you're on Twitter and Facebook, right? Please follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Like me on Facebook. Follow me because now apparently we have followers, not subscribers. Follow me on Twitter. Get the, you'll, you'll hear some juicy gossip about my breakup. Everybody's been wanting to know about that breakup. Remember, I was engaged and then I wasn't yes, engaged. Yes, I met. Remember, you brought him to the radio. Oh, you brought him to the studio. Yes, I wasn't well, there that night. I did not know this. The latte on demand. The dish is in there. I'm telling y'all. If oh. you want to know the story, you gotta rent or buy the buy the the on demand. It's in there. Okay. It's, I'm, I'm going to. Did Dell you get him killed? Is he gone? What, happened to, what happened to him? What What happened to him? What'd you do with him? Did you get rid of him? <laughs> did you just hear anything I just said? <laughs> Oh, I did. You said you, you said you guys broke up. You were engaged, and for me to go on your website, you have to watch. Uh-huh. You have to watch the special to find out what happened. To right. Okay, all right. Exactly. I missed that. I'm not going to share it with you now. No, okay. that's called that's called a tease. Okay, yeah. listen, yeah. okay. We'll see. I'm not the really in the business. Free. The promo. I need is to free. segue, you Jasmine. We website. need to talk about our sponsors, please. No, because we still have a guest on, Ralph. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How Only because one of our sponsors was so nice to write what a great show we were doing. But okay. Oh, oh Carly. Oh, oh, here we go. Who is it? Who is it? Dennis. Which one? Which one, Ralph? Her own artwork. Oh, well, of course. Well, his, right, check, his check cleared, but tell him he's, we need a new check for this month. He wrote, oh, this, my this goodness. Funny, so great job. I was just trying to do a shout out. But you know what? I'll just back down. Oh, oh no, Ralph. No. I don't you are Ralph oh, feeling, Ralph. Jasper. Shame on don't you. Don't do it. No, come back off the ledge, Ralph, right over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's your headshot. Look at first. all these headshots of yourself right here. Come over here. <laughs> Here, resuscitate him with the headshot. That's hilarious. <laughs> you guys are having too much fun. Well, we want to have no, you. No, no, no. What, we want to have you come live in the studio now that we're going to be back in the studio. That would be great. I would love that. I would love that. And thank you so much. Don't forget, everybody, go to my website, www.carlysburke.com. Get the dish on my relationship. See the funniest sign language interpreter you've ever seen. Buy it, rent it, share it with your friends. I'm still not done with my day. I'm off to a screening of a short film that I did with Mindy Sterling. You've got web series, short films, guest spots, uh, commercials yeah, for the yin yang. We're absolutely yeah. tireless. You're like a... You're like the modern day Harriet Tubman. And everyone <laughs> she and she's not the, the prime lady. 
She is not the pine saw lady either. Let's just get that I out there now. I am not the pine saw lady. Okay. Get I am not the pine saw lady. Although we would like some of her mailbox. But she is okay. the Geico lady, so work it out. That's right. I'm the Geico girl. Really? A, Geico a bird girl. in the hand. <laughs> Geico well, bird. Bird in the hand. Hey, Carly, where's Marcus? Are you still there? He's being quiet and respectful. Well, Marcus, right, you were know, you there the night, the day that Carlise came to set to have lunch? Yes, I was. I was okay. because Carlise and I hadn't seen each other since Doogie Hauser. We worked on Doogie Hauser. Together. Well, I was going to yeah, bring that really. up. I was going to say I, I can't believe you guys paths haven't crossed being two veterans like you are. And well, yeah, we worked no, together right. back in the day. I saw him again at uh, the set on the set of K11, and I hear him all the time now that he's joined forces with y'all. And I'm, I'm happy. I, I'm kind of stalking him. I, I haven't shared it. I don't make myself known, but I, I'm, I'm well, that's paying what attention to what Marcus is doing. <laughs> well, what? speaking of K11, let's give a shout out to Tiny Lister while we're at it, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, have a good night, everyone. And, Carly, uh, thank night, you, my Carly. dear. Carly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's fantastic. Yes. What's her name I again? I love Carly. Carly Burke. <laughs> I'm she kidding. Is, I'm kidding. She is fierce, and she does it all, and she's one of those that really does put her money where her mouth is. She just she she does just doesn't wait for the phone to ring. She produces and does her own stuff and yeah, she's amazing. And I have to once again thank Ralph because he's brought some pretty amazing people into my life. So you know, you weigh the good with the bad with people and you make that's why you keep them around, right? Oh thank you. I appreciate you know, it's like I'll take it any way I can get but we both of- <laughs> and everyone, speaking of, Ralph is going in for the new normal, his favorite show. And get this, the character is Burly Gay Man. B U R L Y. He's fierce and tough. I've seen it. He'll Thank get you. it. Thank yeah. you, Chris. Everyone, Thank send Ralph gifts. Send Ralph great, great vibes because this is the this is the exact show he needs to be on. Is yes. The new normal. Absolutely. And Ryan Murphy. Everyone listening, I want to see I want to see Nene and Ralph together on that show. Oh, that would be fabulous! Yeah. Thank you, Planet Earth. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, listen, guys, what else can we let's talk? About, okay, yeah, I do need to thank our wonderful sponsors, Tyrone Artworks, uh, Imagine That Productions, and Wayman Productions, and we have some potential new sponsors coming up that I'll be talking about next week which is exciting. And, yes, uh, shout-out to Tony Sweet for welcoming us back over um, to his new station with Ann Walker. And like I said, uh, we'll post the details. Uh, The Actors Radio launch got pushed back a month because of some uh, technical difficulties with the station there. But hopefully we'll also be uh, back on there on on Sunday nights in February. So we're going to be on Blog Talk. We're going to be on UBN. And once we're on UBN, we'll also be on iTunes again. Um, we'll have podcasts there, and then we'll be on the Sunday night Actors Radio. So the syndication is 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 slowly building on the set with Jasper Cole. So thanks to all our great listeners. And uh, what else, ladies and gentlemen? Or what else can we shout out tonight? Well, um, soon, what? there's going to be you and I are actually going to be making uh, actual personal appearance. Very soon. So if we've got any listeners up in San Francisco, we'll be able to make a full announcement about that very soon. But Jasper and I will be in the San Francisco area. Yes, um, we are going to be. We've been, well, Marcus actually was in, invited to head some amazing acting workshops and industry workshops, and he was nice enough to invite me to be a part of uh, one part of the workshop on on one day of the weekend. So I'm thrilled to be able to go up and. You know, because everyone knows, again, I'm a healer, so I get to go up and spread my joy and love of show business and my Indeed. complete zenness that I have to all these aspiring actors and encourage them to follow their dreams. <laughs> oh, wow. How long do you think? One, oh one my Sunday God. and that'll be it, Marcus, pretty much? How, how many, of those, how many yeah. of those wannabe actors are going to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge after talking to you? I just think that. Well, you know, so anyway, we'll, play, we'll play good good cop, bad cop. He'll talk them up, I'll talk them down, and then, and then we'll just kind of keep it going. He's yeah. got to give them the real. So I have to remember that, that you know, the, the, you have to be encouraging to keep them coming back, Jasper. Don't just 
shat, you know, slaughter them on one one day. So. <laughs> well, I used to say the few, you know, I used to want to say to people the first thing I like to say is if you can do anything else and be happy, please get up and re- and leave the room right now because if you can't have that kind of dedication to it, you really there's no reason to come into it. Right. I think that's actually our first line. I think that's yeah. the first thing we're going to say. And then the whole uh, room gets up and walks out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, oh, wait, we didn't – not really. I mean, that was a joke. Come back. Or or we'll have the weekend free to hang out and party in San Francisco. As long are. as we got their credit card numbers before, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> we did not say you had to stay, but you will pay before we begin. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Right, because we're all about that. That's keeping it. it it's keeping all about, it real. Yeah. yeah. But real. listen, do you guys want to talk at all about the Lance Armstrong Oprah in- interview? Did anyone watch oh, part one last night? I did watch part one because I thought you'd want to talk about it, even though we're entertainment, and not sports. I, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Part of me thinks he's just another person climbing the corporate ladder and knocking people down along the way, and cheating and clawing his way to get there. And the other part of me thinks, you know, wow, sad for his kids and for his wife and just for himself that he went to such lengths to and be Cheryl a cheater. Crow and all the other people he dated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, well, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I guess I really didn't think. I just, you know, well, I don't know. I watched. I watched the. I, I watched the last thirty minutes, and I he just. I thought Tiger Woods and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this guy, they they just all come off as this. Arrogant sociopaths. I mean, it's like there doesn't seem to be any. Well, the rules don't there. apply to them, and I wonder why is he even doing this? I don't understand why he's now, you know, saying he's a liar and everything. Well, I don't. Know, I don't get it. What's the motive? Yeah, well, exactly. Some, exactly. Someone said that That's you know he now way. wants to go into triathlons. He wants to be a professional triathlon uh, athlete. Yeah, but nobody's going to take him serious. I know. He just. I don't know. To me, he didn't seem very remorseful. I mean, at one point, Oprah asked him about, you know, they he, because he sued everybody, anybody that right. ever, you know, and there's one lady that was a massage therapist who overheard a conversation, and she said, what, well, did you sue her? And he goes, oh, you know, Oprah, I have to really, we sued so many people, I really, I really couldn't tell you. And, you know, that just goes to show you how full of shit some of the law stuff is, that you can just sue people left and right like that. Right. Yeah, I, For I mean, telling the truth. It yeah. screams to me that he's he's coming he's coming for Hollywood because every time people oh. do something that's really stupid and then they like have to make a huge deal out of it and it really doesn't need to be the next thing you know they're in some show or they're oh, in some I hope movie. Not. I, I, it's like like you said, there are, there's no reason for this. There's no I don't think I don't think any of this is going over well. None no of this reason. is going over well. Well, well Oprah is also getting we're, we're, criticized. She's not doing any really hard questioning follow-ups either. She's, well, she never it's, does. It's Did a you very see, though, when he, when he talked about how he told off this one woman, I told you I was crazy, I told you you were crazy, I told you you were this, but I never called you fat. And he said this to Oprah, and I thought, oh, my God, I can't believe he just said that. It's like it's okay to be crazy, but God forbid you're fat. Then it's well, really yeah, a nightmare. Said, like he said, like you, I, I, what was it, you crazy – Fat, you're crazy fat, and something else. And he said, I said, now he's trying to make this like part of his apology. And he said, you know, well, Diane, I, I never called you fat. In other words, I called you crazy and psychotic. Right. Yeah. But at least I didn't call you fat. But, you know, yeah. I kind of no, agree he, with that. And did you hear, he says, you know, for, since he's 10 years old, he's been scrappy. His mom was a young uh, mother, and, you know, they always felt like they were on the defense. I can't imagine. I mean, I know a lot of people do grow up like that. Growing up where you're always feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time, it seems, I mean, I sort of get why then maybe he became so ruthless with him explaining it that way, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Well, he's, he definitely should not be trying to come off as a victim on any level, you know. No. Because, I don't know, I just don't understand. I mean, he seems, there was a, someone called in on one of the Sirius XM radio uh, shows today in the car and said, they just did the Iron Man triathlon in Hawaii with him, and he was the biggest prick and just as arrogant as ever and demanding and wanted all the special you know treatment and um oh that's too not, bad you know it's not oh look it let's be honest here he rides bikes 
Right. I don't give a shit fucking a year or six months from now. It doesn't matter. And he's not the guy that Tony Hawks is, who's just like this amazing dude and father and real person. So, right. you know, it's like he's trying to create some stupid legacy. And the fact that he went to Oprah, you know, remember, Oprah, she's a soft shoe. I don't know how it happened that she became the go-to person because, you know, she's kind of known for being the soft shoe and then the backpedal. Because you remember the whole thing that went down with the guy who supposedly had written the book about his life. James Fry. Well, she certainly went after him, though. Oh, she told me, well, of course she's going to go after him. No, I knew who the hell it was. It well, was they got, she discovery. went after him because he made her look like an idiot. That's yeah, the difference. exactly. It was like yeah. her discovery, and so it made her look so. So now all of a sudden she's right. But when everybody, you know, Michael Jackson got accused, and he did the show, she did the soft shoe with him. She does the soft shoe with all the celebrity people. Well, what I don't understand is she's been saying this is her greatest interview ever. I looked at the ratings last night. She got 3 million viewers last night, but the Bobby Christina interview that she did got 18 million. Please. Why doesn't she just stay behind the camera now? Every interview is her best interview ever. What's that, Marcus? Every every she's every interview she does is her best interview ever. She well, don't forget out of every interview saying. Don't forget her network is fledgling, so she has to promote it. Like the problem is nobody can find her network. They right. can't find it on their cable channel, and a lot of no, the people, they can't. Her audience, they a lot of her basic audience can't afford anything above basic cable, and if you don't have like the premium packages, you can't get owned. So right, you know it's hard to. I mean, they should. While you're picking up your government cheese, they should give you a, a you know, a premium oh, package of cable, so they this can find true. her on the fucking TV. But that's just my opinion. I'm trying to be religious and Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. think athletes are overrated, just like actors are anyway. So I don't know oh, why. Okay. And now we have this Monty guy that's created a whole girlfriend that doesn't exist on the internet that is so bizarre what guy would want a not a real girlfriend that he couldn't have sex with why why is this news again why is it because it's sports marcus and football rules people's you know brains in this country i understand that but it's not like like 18 touchdowns he he made up a girlfriend and every everybody's upset well i don't get it well he i don't understand well because he he said that she was dying of cancer and I think died. a lot of money was given to different organizations, which actually oh, that's, that's bad. why. Well, I mean, the, the money it? went to different charities, so that's not a bad thing. At least they got the money. So he didn't get any money from it. He just made up a check that didn't exist, and now but everybody's saying that him he's not he said that he's he's not saying he's made it up. He's saying that he was he was duped. They called it catfished. There's a show on MTV called Catfish where. That's a term where people perpetrate on the internet that there's someone else. Oh, Remember Ralph when yeah. you were dating that person that time you saw it on Facebook and then they turned out to be somebody else? Right. Do do you want to talk about that? No, I was going to pass on that. Oh, okay. Well, I I just you Ralph was catfished one time on Facebook. So So the dude yeah. saying he was catfished and that's why we should care. I don't give a shit about him. He's some big Samoyan football player from Notre Dame. So, you know. I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't know why it's news. It's weird to me. It's yeah, strange. but I, I'm sure well, there'll be a lifetime. Well, it's the opiate of the masses, right? Right, Marcus? I, it's, you know, it's I, to dumb yeah. us down so we don't pay attention to the real issues. Hey, look, I tell you what. If you want to dumb me down, Give me updates on on the expansion of of of, of Jessica Simpson's bus line. This, this, <laughs> that, that, it might need to be dumbed down. Do, well, Marcus, speaking way. of big old Jessica Simpson titties, she's going to have her own sitcom on NBC. Did you guys hear? No. What? Are you serious? Oh yeah, really? they're developing a whole sitcom about her life. They're going to have someone play the gay father, the sister that lip syncs. Um, her have they admitted that the father's gay? Huh? Did they admit that the father was gay? Well, he ca- didn't he come out? He left his wife. For came that out. Guy. Twinkie guy. Did he really? He came out? I know oh, he yeah. left. I didn't know he came out. We well, he lived about out in Palm Springs with this, like, show. 20-year-old okay. kid or whatever. Yeah, but you know, in, a way, on the show? in a way, I think it should be a, could be a really funny show. Is Jessica going to be on the show? She's playing herself. Done. I'm there every week. Do you realize, Dara, D- you know this. That, you know, I, she's you're a, a boob man, Marcus, I guess. Well, hello, I'm there Isis. every week. 
I'm there every week. <laughs> but, um, Dara, you know yes, this. Yes, Jasper. You know she's a billionaire from her shoe line. Yes. Yep. I mean, billion with a B, like Tyler Perry money. She's made oh, that okay. much money from her shoes. Okay. Uh, I am there. I am Good there. When does it start? Are they shooting it yet? Can I They're do developing it, it. I was going to try to get you a part on there, Marcus. <laughs> oh, my God, please, Marcus. You're hilarious. Please. In fact, hey, I don't want to go. I don't want to go up for anything else but that show. Hey man, that's you that remember? Show. Look man, you remember those Daisy Dukes when she was in Dukes of Hazard? Those tight shorts and everything. The boobies weren't man. that big back then, though. I don't know, that's man. Okay. I, that They're was hot. Now. I tell you that's what, man, okay. that was hot. Things were things were growing and happening. It's all now, good. I, I man, oh I saw that God. movie. And then I bought the DVD, and I I've got it. That she was hot as shit then, don't you think, Marcus? Well, well, you have to yes, pride now. You, out of, I say yes, but only out of context. Not to try oh. this hard. I am what a is, huge. What is Ralph I'm saying? Huge, what? Well, you have to try this hard. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone could see what Ralph is doing right wait, now. Wait, what, what is he talking that about? Was funny. Let me just funny. explain something, everybody. I, Ralph sits here. He has a plethora of goodies. I don't know what he's got, like a. A drink. He's got the newspaper. He's got his Facebook page up. He's looking at Twitter. Uh, he's got glasses on his nose, like you know, a grandmother, and and he has the audacity to say anything to me. So what, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> I love <Funny>. that. <laughs> he has a, yeah. an orange blanket over the chair. It looks like some Persian restaurant came in here and. <laughs> Uh, like we're at Mor- a Moroccan restaurant about to eat with our shoes off on the floor. So, that was funny. But, but Ralph, you're right. At our new studio, we are going to have cameras. So Lucian and Katie and all of our li- listen, our two listeners in the world, um, <laughs> you guys can not only matter. hear us, but but Dara, we're going to have to be camera ready at the new the new studio at all times. So yes, I am aware. I. <laughs> Ah, There'll the be hair and makeup. On. Everyone will need to arrive uh, camera ready. Isn't it funny how technology has segued into like now when you're on the radio, you're on TV as well. Well, that's Jasper's fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, there will be. When you I look like Jasper quite, but... and you just wear your wife beater shirt and your muscles hang out, then you're all good with being on TV. Oh, right. thank you. Well, I was just going to say we haven't actually secured the cast yet, so there, everyone will be. Everyone is screen testing. We have to go before the network. Tony and Ann have to cast the show. So. Oh my God. Oh, you that's, guys don't that's, mind that's his way of letting here. us out, uh, Ralph. So get ready. I know, right? Thank God I bonded with Ann and Tony on Facebook. God damn it. Oh my God. You call it bonding? What did you call it? Oh, bonding. hilarious. And, yeah, and I was invited to the party. We're going next week, right? Yeah, we're going to the open house next Wednesday at UBN. Everyone's at invited, Universal Marcus and Sarah. Broadcast Network. Universal and United. Broadcasting Network. And right. it's U- UBNradio.com is the website. I'm not sure okay. if it's up and running yet. but Okay. UBN, it's, it's an acronym for You Be a Negro. Okay, <laughs> good. That was good, Ralph. <laughs> That was really good. And Thank listen, you. guys, I want to give a big shout out. Tomorrow mm-hmm. is the wonderful Denise Boutte's birthday. Oh, oh January nineteenth. She'll be twenty four. So <laughs> we're giving a big shout out to her twenty fourth birthday. And all the haters on IMDb, quit trying to say you went to college with her. And that oh dear, she's older than she is. But also, congratulations! She just landed a TV movie called Between Sisters, starring her. Meet the Browns co-star Terry J. Vaughn. Uh, Terry Ro- is writing it, producing it, co-starring with Denise. Uh, they'll be shooting in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is Denise's second TV movie for GMC. And so big shout-out to that, and I'll keep everyone hey, in touch. Yeah, she's off to Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the same studios where they used to shoot Dawson's Creek up in um, up in that beautiful part of Raleigh. So. Oh, so all you meet the Browns fans, she and uh, Renee from the show will be back together playing sisters. Oh, how ex- great! Which is excited, and I'm excited because that means, oh, thank God, somebody is going to pay me some money, um, <laughs> right? Hey, listen, 
Give me, I, I'm, I got plenty of money for you. I just need to get on that Jessica Simpson show. Yeah, we're going to get you on that. But then you can't, you know, she's, and you know what? She's not married. She's just knocked up again, but she's not but married. But Marcus oh, is well, married. Come on don't now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just get me on the show. Uh, Dara, have you read Poker Nights? And that's how married No, Marcus I need is. to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that's married, then everyone should sign up. It's, I'm just saying, it's just, just, just don't worry about it. Just stand up. Yeah, okay. Just, yeah. It, it, All exactly. right. Exactly. Oh, listen, well, Marcus, you, Katie Schatz wants your Twitter handle. I just gave oh. it to her. Okay. Oh, cool. I think I did. Katie, is, oh. Is yeah, Katie, tell her to look at my tweets and she can find it in there. Katie, look at Jared's tweets and you can find a Marcus. Is, you know, uh, Jared, you have to be careful saying that. When you say look in my tweets, it's like uh, that word right. is twisted right. around. And Katie, really... Marcus is at Marcus capital M A R K U S underscore Redmond R E D M O N D three one O seven six two nine four seven five three O nine. Sarah's at nine four one. I cannot sing six two three. Uh huh. <laughs> Sixty two seventy four. And Ralph is on the corner. I thought we were doing an hour show. We've gone overtime. We are just we have so much to talk we are about. We're just rambling just and rambling. Rambling on. Are we keeping you from Kevin? I know you have to pre- fulfill your wifely duties tonight. Yeah, I'm a- glad that you changed your verbiage on that. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> You're hilarious. I did, didn't I? I did. I know. So you're going to blame I've, firing me and Ralph on Ann uh, and Tony? I love it. I've gone to bat for everybody. Every, I put my words in for everybody, and everyone's on their own now. So good luck. I'm oh, just, you're hilarious. <laughs> Are they going to pay us? No, absolutely not. <laughs> you, well, I, I guess it's pay. a good thing Tony thinks I'm as good looking as he does. So that's good. Oh, oh wow. I love okay. Tony. Sweet. He's darling. Yeah. Tony is sweet. He is sweet. Get it? Well, listen, listen, guys, it's been another great show. We have to thank our wonderful guest, Carly's Burke, and I want to thank the very sexy and sultry Brandy thank Cooper. Thank you. For, oh, Brandy Cooper, yes. I know. And, Dara, I have to say thank you. <laughs> thank you because you, you allowed two other vaginas on the show tonight, and I, I really do appreciate that. I did. I'm, 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 you know, it's fine. I told you it's not the females. It's just all the interaction. Maybe there's too many of us. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wait, we have, wait, guys, we have one more caller here. Hold on. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Hi, you're on the set with Jasper Cole. Who's this? And you're off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And scene. I, I, like I hate that people are calling and they're just not not saying anything. But anyway, I know, listen, I wonder. guys. Thank you guys so much for another great show. Thank just remind you, everyone that the show is now also up on YouTube as well. You can listen to <laughs> our podcast on the On the Set with Jasper Cole YouTube channel. And, uh, of course, podcast on Blog Talk. And on On the Set with Jasper Cole, the website, all the – each show is put up immediately within five minutes after we go off the air. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for a great show. Thanks, Jasper. Absolutely. Good Have night, everybody. You are more than welcome, Jasper. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we will see you live again next weekend. You've been listening to On the Set with Jasper Cole, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye, Planet Eartha. Don't miss a minute of On the Set with Jasper Cole and get the inside scoop on everything going on behind the scenes in Hollywood.